A middle-aged man is being hunted by the authorities for recreating a childhood photo. And this man is being sought by the fashion police for a Barnet crime spree. Tonight's news begins now. A young child surrounded by his cuddly toys? Nothing strange in that. But the tot in the picture is being hunted by the authorities for being a big baby. Take a look. Well, it's just nostalgia, isn't it? I'm just, you know, I'm creating a catalogue of reliving my childhood and why shouldn't why shouldn't i be with my friends hairdo more like hair don't crimpers across the land are up in arms after pictures went viral of a bloke who thinks blinging up his barnet is acceptable anyone with information is asked to call 555 five, five messed up. That's all the news for now. We'll be back after our break. I don't know what it is about pineapples. But I just love them. They look like, like a lovely hairdo. And of course, someone like, like me admires other people's um, fantastic hairdos. And no one is as perfect as mine, or low maintenance for that matter. This is, of course, a lovely pineapple. And um, as you can see, I am also dressed the same colour as the fruit itself, including the shorts. Look! I'm dressed for the occasion. So, what are we making today? cheese topping. Oh hello, well <laughs> I'm making a pizza. I've not done this before, it's, uh, so another first for me. Um, I bought the bases, now you, you can use any type of pizza base. This is a organic wheat base. We will be making two pizzas, one for me and one for Paul, but I'll just take you through one right now. And the toppings of course are up to you, but the first thing to do is to give it a nice sort of um, a glisten. So we've got some extra virgin olive oil here and not a paintbrush as you may have seen previously but a proper um, cookery type coating, brushing, <laughs> kitchen, <laughs> kitchen brush. <laughs> and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to paint my pizza base with this lovely extra virgin olive oil. Oh look, it's, it's the same colour as my, my t-shirt as well. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we, we've done that. Um, next we need our tomato. All pizzas of course, or most pizzas, come with tomato. We've got um, tomato puree here and I've got my big, my big spreading knife out so I'm going to just do a few uh, blotches and splodges. Um, of of that lovely tomato and smooth oh yeah smooth it along i'm not overly fussed on too much tomato so it's up to you how much you put on um, or how little you put on um and of course it is double concentrate so it will be quite uh thick and quite strong i suppose quite potent but that's i think that's enough it's just sort of spreading so long like that put that knife to one side for now um so then the next thing we want to do is to put our cheese and uh, again it's up to you what kind of cheese that you use um we are using um a mixture of mozzarella 
and cheddar, both grated. And this is both leftovers from bakes that we did the other day. Um, Paul froze the, the cheddar, I didn't even know you could do that. Um, so we, we thawed it out earlier today and mixed it round with the mozzarella which was in the fridge. Um, so we're now just going to sprinkle that along over the, the pizza. Make sure I leave enough for the other one. Paul's having this one because of course he uh, he will be very hungry watching me do this. <laughs> right, okay. So there we have. Now, actually, at this stage, you've got a margarita. So you could just pop that into the oven straight away. But oh no, 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 no. I love a Hawaiian. And as you can see, I'm dressed completely in yellow today. So we've got our our ham over there and our, our pineapple. I'm going to do the pineapple first. Paul um, very kindly earlier on chopped up the pineapple um, because I'm not very good at, at that myself. Um, I've come a cropper doing pineapple chopping before. So I just want to get as many single sort of chunks there as I can find. Not the, There's some that are so, sort of stuck together. I just want single ones really. Um, for this to show as it spreads it out a little bit more. There we go. Lovely. Mix them all round and uh, yeah maybe one more. That looks that looks pretty good I think. And then finally of course the ham. Now I've already sliced it one way and what I find a nice little trick is to use um, kitchen scissors for cutting meat. It makes it a lot, a lot easier than using a knife a lot of the time. So when you've got little strips of ham like this, uh, you can just snip away like that with the scissors. And it also means that you can just sort of drop it on. Ooh, my brush is rolling off. Uh, wherever you want. So just make sure I, again, leave enough for the other one, which I shall be making later on for myself and snip 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 there we go I think we can use a little bit more and there's a bit there and like that and there we have our finished pizza so that now goes into the oven at a preheated oven at 220 celsius for 10 minutes yeah it's as quick as that has turned out absolutely fantastic and in just 10 minutes um, you know pizza really simple to make for a, a quick lunch or a dinner so yeah have a go now don't forget to subscribe Guess what we're having tonight? We're having chicken and pineapple. Chicken, I have cut these chicken breasts so far because otherwise it would have taken too long to fit into this program. I also have some pineapple chunks that I have cut up. So this will go with my dish. Ginger and garlic. This will be added to it before I add the chicken in. Of course, Chinese food is always good with spring onions. And I have some basmati rice. One cupful. And corn flour is a essential ingredient that I like to use to give a shine. To make the consistency a lot less wet so it will add some volume to it and some 
shine and sheen. So let's get to it. So let's add some white pepper, um, Chinese five spice. Sugar, rice wine. I just eyeball it. Mm. Does someone say fishy? Dark soy doesn't have as much sodium because there is plenty in the fish sauce. That that make us some oyster sauce. I love this brand, Lee Kum Ki. Okay, let's add some of this. Yeah, I'll leave it out just in case I need more. Um, so I could either use a spoon or use my fingers. Fingers. You want to mix it all together. Get everything evenly spread out. Ideally, um, I would let it rest before I add the corn flour. But since I'm hungry, we're not waiting. <laughs> this is this will be like a thickening agent for the for the chicken. There wasn't that much to begin with, so... So this is like what? Like maybe two spoonfuls or thereabouts, which is a good amount, I think. This isn't alcohol, this is only water. Okay, we need to have the heat on and the wok kind of steaming before I add anything to it. The wok changes color somewhat. That is a point where you would add the oil and all the ingredients. About two tablespoons or so. the ginger and garlic. I think I need more My good old um spatula. <laughs> Not spatula. My utensil. I always like burnt garlic because it just has like a nice aroma to it. Okay, I think it's released a good amount of flavor. So now we add in the ingredient, the chicken that we marinated. So I like to spread it like this so that it covers every um, the surface of the wok so that it could cook it evenly. I don't want anything to be on top of one another, like each of the chicken pieces. Time to flap!
Now it's time to add this in, and then I will put this to the bottom of the wok, and then I will add the chicken on top. Put on the lid and turn down the heat. Maybe let's put a little bit of like a teaspoon of water to help it along. Oh, look at the bubbles. Add some sesame oil. And this is also the time where we would add the spring onions that we just chopped. and brightly colored. So there you have it. <sighs> Doesn't this look delish? Marcus, dinner time! Ha ha ha! I'm wine, I say! Well, I can't open it. <laughs> Magic of TV. Thank you! My extra big glass. Hey, where's mine? I... I did all the heavy lifting. Mm. So this is a Radicini Sauvignon Blanc and this is from Moldova. First time I've had wine from there so I think it's time to tuck in and enjoy a nice glass of white. Cheers everyone! And finally the man baby with the Cuddly Toys has just been spotted in another nasty case of nostalgia. It's fine for mom and dad to snap a cute picture of their little one at bath time, but the following images are disturbing. Oh, and just as a little PS, glasses and shower caps are optional extras. Okay, I'm done. Anyone with information, well, you know who to call. That's it for tonight. Stay tuned for the weather. Good night. Good night. It's going to be a dry day with spells of sunshine. It will become cloudier further south as easterly winds ease maximum temperature 11 to 14 degrees Celsius.